The people in our group are... Chris! Take two. Section two, stream and river deposits. Rivers erode and move on almost most materials such as soil and rock, acting as liquid convertible. Rivers often... This is a boring way to learn. Come on, in my magic school bus and we'll learn the right way. I wonder where the magic school bus is. I think I hear it. There it is! Yay! <laughs> Let's see who else is on the bus! Oh, there's Bob! Uh, that person! Suzanne! And our best friends, Miss Frizzle and Liz! Yay! Okay, let's do some learning, kids! Everybody get on the bus! Hi, Miss Frizzle! Hello! Come on, children! Be careful! Let's go for a ride, children! Take two. What if you had to drive all over the U.S. carrying tons of soil to transport it? Well, so rivers do that all day, every day. It's their full-time job. What? Scene five, take one. Deposition and water! Dun, dun, dun! As you can see, water transports goods like sticks and dirt and even ice. Scene 9, take 1. Hi, I'm a miner and I'm looking for gold. Miners just to California in 1850 to find gold. They often found it in the bends of the, of the rivers in place of deposit. Gold, as the miners trying to find down there, is a place deposit. Place deposit is when heavy minerals are sometimes deposited in places in a river where the current flows down. Find anything? Ah! Uh, hey! Look! I found gold! Look at it! Scene 10 takes six. As you can see, the water's coming down the stream and is going to go into the river or pond with a delta at the end. A delta is a fan shaped mass of material deposited at the mouth of a stream. Right there. You know I can take two. As you can see, this alluvial fan is a Fan shaped mass of material deposited by a stream when a <laughs> slope of land decreases sharply. <laughs> Take three. As you can see, our highlighted part is the floodplain. Blood plain. An area along the river that forms some sediments deposited when the river overflows its banks. And you, as you can see, it's overflowing right now. Right there. Right there. Oh, right on my shoes! <laughs> well, it overflowed. Scene three, take four. Oh, oh danger! Oh, I'm a lifeguard! Scene 4, take 7. One type of barrier that can be built to help control flooding is a dam. A dam is a barrier that can redirect the flow of water. A dam is either man-made 
like the one over there, or naturally made, right there. Yeah. Scene six, take two. Another way to prevent floods is to put sandbags in the water, so the water can't get by and flood your town. And your home, so the water, so the um, the lifeguards don't have to save you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scene 552, take two. Did you know that Niagara Falls is eroding so much that it is actually going backwards? Say what? Oh, oh, oh. Well, say. Yeah!